Qigong and Tai Chi are mind, body, and breath practices. They're ancient Chinese healing systems that allow you the opportunity, a path, a way to maximize human potential and health. Qi is breath or energy. Gong is work or movement. Qigong is breath work or energy movement. Tai Chi is a style of Qigong. Very See, cool. we, were, we were directly impacted, either positively or negatively, by the people in an environment that we find ourselves in. So peer influence is a tremendous either asset or liability to a company, mm -hmm. to any organization or community entity. And so we, am, we leverage the power of peer influence in what it is that we do. So when we leave your place, your place is self-sufficient. You don't need me there. Right. And that's, that's the best case for anybody, for everybody. That's where you ultimately want because, to be. Yeah. So you're, so you really at, at the core, what you're doing is you're going in and you're helping them do a culture shift. That's it. Yep. Very, very interesting. That's it. Because I truly, I think that is so important because it's when you get to that self-governing stage. And that's mm -hmm. why I said, if you, if you always got the best people, but they, they are self-governing because they're not going to put up with lousy work. That's right. Um, and laziness. they're not going to put up with it from their co-workers. That's what I'm saying. Right. It becomes self-governing. Right. They squeeze out the people who aren't... Who, who, who don't want to function yes, like that. Exactly. Who don't want to function at that level. Yes. Those people leave. That's right. Right. And, and that's you okay. attract more that do want to function at exactly. that level. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. When, when you have a place that the best people want to work, you have the best company. You got it. So that's the real human resources story, right? You got it. That's the real okay. human resources. Story. So is part of what you do um, introducing uh, a Tai Chi or Qigong um, program? Yeah, see, the foundation of our practice, of, of our program, is the mind, body, and breath practice that is Qigong and Tai Chi. Okay. And, and, and so we've, we've piggybacked on what's worked for 5,000 years. It's been refined and developed and, and proven effective. There's lots of scientific study around the value of, and benefit of those things to improve both physiological and psychological aspects of the human being. So whether it's high blood pressure or um, diabetes or you're overweight or whether there is a, an imbalance in your thyroid system, uh, this practice is proven to have an Im a positive impact on those aspects of your well-being psychologically stress, depression, anxiety, um, those things are, are, are tremendous challenges, are produced tremendous challenge for our human population today. This affects that and, and is a byproduct, you know, the, the reduction in stress, the, the sleeping better so that you show up at work and you're more excited and more functional and ready to go. Um, even my sister, she went to a Tai Chi Easy Practice Leader Training. It's a three-day certification, 25-hour certification that we do um, every year in September. We're doing it out at Houston Oaks uh, um, Country Club and Family Sports Retreat. Beautiful, beautiful facility, beautiful place. And after the three days, now we've been sister and brother for a long time. Yeah, uh, all your lives, days, right? All, uh, yeah. At least all one of your lives. Yeah. And so she, she's always had a challenge with uh, staying asleep, not getting asleep, but staying asleep. Mm -hmm. And she's sleeping an extra hour, hour and a half, an extra two hours a night. And it's changing the dynamics of how she functions during the course sure. of the day. And Sleep deprivation is serious. Right. She's not taking a pill, and I'm not going in and putting my hands on her. She's doing it for herself. Well, I think that's great. Well, I just am delighted that you came today and that you shared with us. And I just want to remind our listeners that you will be a featured speaker hmm. at the 2013 Metaphysical and Healing Expo. Yes. And people can learn more about that expo at HealingExpo.com. Uh, you can buy your tickets there, come and hear more about what Henderson has to say. And you can get a sneak peek of that tomorrow at the Consciously Curious Group. From 10 to noon, we meet every Thursday. Henderson will be our guest speaker tomorrow. So looking forward to having you there. I'm looking forward to be there. And if I could do a little plug, I'd like for people to go to the website, go in to contact us, give us your name and email address, and we'll put you on the mailing list so that we can send you out all of our annual, our calendar of annual events. And those are things that are open to the public. We do a 
Tai Chi in Herman Park is an example during the spring break um, period. We do World Tai Chi Day, and that's in April. We've got the Women's Empowerment Conference coming up. So anyway, we'll provide you with that, and we'll provide you with a list of all of the uh, group classes that we're doing around the city. With okay. Give us that website again. www.livingwelltherapies.net. Okay. Very good. We'll see you again tomorrow, right? Looking forward to it. Thanks so much for being here. I got a feeling we're going to be good friends. I think so too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I've been, I've actually been thinking about getting into Tai Chi. I'm oh, taking wow. so the universe provides. Duh. There All it right. Is. So thank you for joining us, and um, we're going to take um, we're going to be off the air in just a minute, as a matter of fact. So I just want to remind you of a couple of things. Other than the consciously curious tomorrow from ten to noon, where Henderson Smith will be our uh, guest speaker.